Hey, today I'm going to talk about three brand new movies. How cool is that? New movies in 2021. Who heard of that? Uh, they just came out this weekend, the weekend I'm recording this, and two of them are amazing. I love them both so much. The third one's still good, but those other two are just, they blew me away. I am so excited to talk about them. Their titles are uh, The Map of Perfect Little Things, Judas and the Black Messiah, and Red Dot. <sighs> this is gonna be, this is gonna be a good one. I'm really excited. Yeah. Our first movie is The Map of Perfect Little Things. This movie stars Catherine Newton, my second one of her, and Kyle Allen. Uh, the basic premise is it's a time loop rom-com movie. Uh, it's kind of like the simplest way to put it. They're just like two high schoolers who are stuck in a time loop. And like, I wasn't sure what I was going to think of the movie going into it. The trailer looked okay. Uh, and then once the movie even started, it, it focused more on Kyle's character. And I was like, hmm, I don't really like this guy. It's kind of, well, it's a little off for me. Uh, but honestly, that just... My doubts about him kind of went away really quickly because like his charm and charisma just won me over and it was just, I was just like wrapped up in all of like the sweet hijinks. And then Catherine Newton's just great in everything. I've seen her in six movies now and she's been terrific in every one of them. This one is no exception. She's just, she is such a great actress and she's so young too. This movie is just so adorable. Yeah, it's a little predictable at times. You kind of know what's going to happen. It's a time loop movie. It's a rom-com. But at the same time, you just get, I just got so wrapped up in everything that I was just, I was just, I was having so much fun. And I just, I emotionally connected to everyone. I could understand both sides of everything that was going on and like what their goals were and just like all the silly emotions and stuff. And just like, ah, it was just great. And then like, it's it's way more than just a rom-com. Like to say what the actual movie's about kind of spoils things at the end of the movie. Um, and it, it does such a great job of revealing it. I don't want to spoil it. But to call it just a rom-com is just doing it a disservice. And honestly, I... I could tell going into like the end of the movie, I was like, I feel, I feel them tears coming. Those tears are a coming right now, Charlie. Uh, and then like the end came and I just, I cried so much. And it's like, it's, it's a good happy tears, mostly. There's, there's just some sad stuff. There's definitely some sad stuff in there too, but it's just like, it just, it all came out, man. And it was, it was a good cry. It was a good cry. I just, man. I just, I was not expecting to just like emotionally click with this movie so much. And it just, it just got me. It just, it, it was so great. Oh, I love this movie. I recommend the hell out of this movie. I don't know if you're going to connect to it as much as I did, um, but I still think you're going to have, you're going to have an enjoyable experience. It's just, a, it's a good, nice movie. Maybe you'll cry like me. Maybe you'll just have a nice smile on your face. It's just, it's, you're not going to be, you're not in for a bad time. It's gonna be good. It's gonna be so good. The next movie is Judas and the Black Messiah. This movie stars these two guys. Uh, I'm not gonna try to pronounce their names because I don't want to mess it up, but I actually love both these actors a lot, and they did a phenomenal job here. This is probably my favorite movie that both of these guys have done. Uh, and it's just, it's, uh, this movie is so, so good. Uh, the basic premise, it's based on a true story. It's set in the 60s and it's based in Chicago around this group of Black Panthers. And honestly, the title of the movie tells you everything you need to know about this movie. It's like the most perfect description of what this movie is. Because it's about a Judas and it's about a Black Messiah. And like you can see the parallels pretty quickly. But as the movie goes on, it's like how deep do these parallels go? And it's just... <sighs> It gets you, because like this movie, it's, it's 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 about racist white government people screwing over black people as much as possible, and it just it infuriates you and it saddens you, especially because like yeah, the movie set sixty years ago, but it's very clearly about today as well, and it's just. <sighs> It's heartbreaking and it just, it kind of, it, it destroyed me emotionally just how much it's just like, 
this is our world. This is life right now. 60 years ago feels like forever ago, but it's it's yesterday because the world has not changed and that sucks. And this movie does a great job of pointing that out and it just, it hurts so much. And it's just, it's a, such a powerful experience to watch this movie and it's, uh, it's, re it's, it's really, really good. So I'd say it's definitely worth a watch. You should 100% watch this movie. Hopefully you've already seen it. Um, but it's, yeah, it's, it's uh, so good, so powerful. I'm getting kind of choked up just thinking about it. And lastly is Red Dot. This is a Swedish mystery thriller thing. Uh, it's about this couple that decide to go camping up north, you know, where it's very frozen. Uh, and there's a little red dot that keeps following them. Is it a laser that's connected to a gun and someone's maybe haunting them potentially? I don't know. That is what it is. The movie's fine. It's pretty good. Like, if, if, you, if you're in the mood for, like, a kind of mystery thriller thing, like, it's not bad. Uh, it does the job well. It definitely could be better, especially just, like, kind of laying the seeds for the mystery, because it's, like, they kind of show us, like, some scenes early on that don't mean anything, but at the end of the movie they explain everything. It's like, okay, there's no way I could have figured this mystery out just based on those random throwaway scenes. It would have been nice if they kind of, you know, hinted at more what happened before they revealed what happened. Uh, but, you know, it's fine. It's, it's, if you're in the mood for this type of movie, it's, you're going to enjoy it. it. It's fine. It gets the job done. It's not going to blow your mind or anything. Alrighty, now for today's rankings. I'm actually going to do it in reverse this time, so I'm starting with the lowest one. Uh, so the third is Red Dot. It's sitting at number 30 in the liked category. It's, you know, just a good middle-of-the-road movie. Uh, and then next up is uh, Judas and the Black Messiah. That's actually sitting at number three in the really liked category. I... I crazy, crazy loved that movie. Uh, it, it couldn't quite beat out uh, Beginning, that Georgian movie I watched, but it was, it's, it's right up there. It's so good. Uh, and then sitting at number one is honestly, it's, it's a map of perfect little things. I just, I loved that movie so, so much. It just connected with me and touched me so much. And it's just like that. I, yeah, I think that Beginning and uh, Judas and the Black Messiah are better movies, but I connected and liked Map the best, the most. It just, it just got me, and it just, when you cry that much in a movie, it just, it deserves all the praise it can get. It just, it's so good. And that's out of a total of 45 movies so far this year.